Joining us now with more reaction, all this breaking news, Republican Congressman Jim Jordan. Jim, you watched the events unfold today. You just heard John's yeah. report. Your reaction? Well, uh, the first thing is Bob Mueller, Bob Mueller's report. If the report speaks for itself, why would you have to do a press conference? And what did we learn in the nine minutes and 39 seconds uh, of Mr. Mueller's press conference? We learned that there was no collusion, no obstruction after what? 22 months, $30 million, 19 lawyers, 40 FBI agents, 500 witnesses, 2,800 subpoenas. It was the same darn conclusion. So that, to me, was the big takeaway. If the report speaks for itself, why did you have to do a nine-minute, 39-second press conference where you took no questions from the press? You know, maybe, Jim Jordan, I've read too many of the closed-door testimonies to see what people like yourself and Mark Meadows were doing behind the scenes. Now that Congressman Doug Collins released the closed-door testimony, the questions you and, and others would ask, Mark Meadows would ask, were poignant, they were relevant, and they got to the facts. I don't think Bob Mueller would want to go before you. I have a lot of questions well, about Bob for Bob Mueller. When did he know that there was no collusion? I'd like to know how he was interested in Farah and loan applications, but he didn't seem too interested in a Russian dossier mm -hmm. put together by a foreign yeah. national that was full of lies, that was disseminated to the public by leaks to the press, and also used to spy on an opposition party campaign based on Russian lies. I'd like those answers. Yeah, no, you're right. I think there were three takeaways from today. No new information, no collusion, no obstruction after all the investigation that Bob Mueller did. The second thing was he resigned. He told us that he was stepping down. And then third, I think he doesn't want to testify. So if, if, if he comes, that'll be up to Jerry Nadler. But there are lots of questions to ask. And the, and the key ones, I think, are where you were just at, Sean. This dossier, because before they went to the FISA court in October of 2016, they knew all kinds of things about the author of that dossier, Christopher Steele. They knew he was desperate. This was communicated by Bruce Orr to the FBI. He was desperate to stop Trump, and they didn't tell the court that information, didn't tell the court who paid for the document, namely the Clinton campaign. Those are key questions that we need answers to. The good news is... Bill Barr is doing an investigation, and I think he's going to get the answers. We know that between the inspector general, between now Mr. Durham, now the attorney general, and others, the avalanche is coming. You know it more than I do. I wish you would sneak the information to me, but you, you kind of, you're like, Mark, <laughs> you don't give me what I want to know. Thank you so much, Jim Jordan.